make sure we're sharing information with local law enforcement that helps them to focus on the most dangerous individuals. Three years after the deadly Henry Pratt workplace shooting, Illinois State Police are focused on accountability. The shooter in that case was not legally allowed to carry a gun. Elizabeth Matthews spoke with the director of ISP about new gun laws and is live now from Aurora. The suspect was supposed to turn over his FOID card years before the shooting, but due to an antiquated system, he was never caught and three years ago went on a shooting spree here at Henry Pratt. Tuesday will mark three years since the Henry Pratt workplace shooting when disgruntled worker Gary Martin killed five co-workers. In that time, law enforcement and lawmakers have acted to help prevent it from happening again. Every law enforcement agency in the state has access to the FOID status of people who are in their community who have been revoked. Martin was not legally allowed to carry a gun. He had received a letter revoking his FOID card for an out-of-state assault conviction. That was five years before the shooting, but he never acted and police never followed up. The Illinois State Police have now created a database to track FOID card holders and a new law allocates funding for agencies to sometimes physically remove cards and weapons. Kane County Sheriff Ron Haynes says a lot was learned since three years ago. This was uh, easily the worst day of my term as sheriff and it was only two and a half months into it. Um, a lot of lessons learned since then. They started better tracking revocation requests and now get about one a week. If somebody is having their firearms owners' rights revoked, there must be some serious teeth behind that. And it could pose a, a very serious threat to public safety. These efforts combined means more potential threats are being stopped. Director Kelly says thanks to the new system, ISP has stopped more than 25,000 attempts to unlawfully obtain a firearm just last year. In Aurora, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.